I'd like to welcome our audience from the Wind Technology Studio and say thank you to our media sponsor, Royal Credit Union. I'm Kaylin Winnegar. I'm the VP of Workforce Initiatives here at the Chamber, and today I have with me Valerie Feedy, who is a partner at Whipfly. Welcome. Thank you, Kaylin. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Whipfly and some of the resources that you offer your employees. Um, Valerie, do you want to share a little bit about the business history and how business has been in Eau Claire? Absolutely. Thanks for asking. Um, so Whiffley started, for those of you who don't know, we just celebrated 100 years from Bertelsen Company that actually started here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And Clarence Whiffley started Whiffley LLP in Wausau, Wisconsin. Hmm. 1988, the two firms merged, and today we are called Whiffley. It was Whiffley Bertelsen Ulrich, but today we are Whiffley. So we're very proud of our long Wisconsin history. Um, since that time, and really over the last 10 years, we have um, had a significant amount of mergers. 35 different independent firms have merged into Whiffley, and we are now the 19th largest accounting and consulting firm in the nation. So that's pretty exciting. Wow. And you tell us a little bit about your employee count. I know it's quite impressive. Yes. So we are currently at almost 300 partners and principals and just over 3,000 um, associates. And that includes not only our domestic associates, but our associates in India, as well as the Philippines. Wow, that was my next question. Where all are you located? Because I know you're nationwide. We still have a fair amount of our associates in the Wisconsin. We are truly a Wisconsin-made company, and so we do have five independent markets and quite large offices in Wisconsin. Um, but we are coast to coast. We are out in Reston, Virginia, and all the way to Irvine, California. So Probably the one area that we're not in um, as much as we'd like to be is down south in Texas, but again, we're looking for firms to merge into us. So, Sounds like you're a business that likes to change and evolve, so I'm sure it's on the horizon. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, we do not stand still. Neither does our profession, so we're just trying to keep up. Do you want to talk a little bit about your relationship with the Chamber and how you've been involved in some of the workforce development stuff that's been going on here? Absolutely. So I was asked to join the Chamber Board about three years ago. Um, Mark Faunus, who was the market leader here for Wifley uh, for almost 20 years, held the position in various roles before myself. So I was given that opportunity, which has been great. And so some of the board members are able to select committees that they are passionate about. So I did join, uh, Kaylin, your <laughs> <laughs> committee, um, the DEI. So with regards to where my passions lie, um, I also serve and I've been helping Wifley on their DEI and uh, business resource group as we refer to them on that that initiative for the firm. Fantastic. I know you have um, some great personal interest in this area but on, the ha on behalf of your business why is it important to be inclusive and in di diverse in your business? And that is a great question and I will say that you know I don't believe there's any one company firm um, organization who has all the answers today. Mm -hmm. I think we are all on this journey together. Our journey at Whiffley started about three or four years ago with just the identification of we need to formalize um, our mission mm -hmm. and uh, put really some committee members, associates and partners around the issue of how do we reach our associates where they're at. Mm -hmm. So that that's where our DEI journey began. Um, from there, uh, about two years in, we saw the need, and um, it's referred to a, a couple different ways in the community, either employee resource groups or business resource groups. Um, we have taglined ours, business resource groups, um, just because they do have a business slant. We do teach our associates a lot about leadership, being out in their communities, um, so we, w we did use that tagline. Um, we today have four BRGs. We have the Women of Wifley and Pride, which started two years ago. And most recently, we have our Veterans, or Valor, as we call it, in our multicultural group. And one of the big reasons why we started the BRGs is because we're such a large firm and we're not all located in one office, is to make connections. We know whether it's through our home, our families, our communities, the connections that you make, and even in from a business um, environment, helps associates feel connected, not only to each other, but to Wifley. Um, so we're using it as a way to retain and attract talent. And what I can tell you and what we found is that the, relations that the relationships that are being made through these BRGs are really um, changing associates' lives. Uh, just most recently, I have to share this story. Um, Christmas is especially, I am a, uh, the co-sponsor for Pride, 
and we had a meal where everybody who's um, either in the community or allies could show up to a meal offered by Wifley. So you would have your meal delivered for maybe from Uber Eats or something. And we brought everybody together. And what we learned is that there's so many displaced people um, that are, you know, have cut family ties and the holidays are really hard. So watching our associates come together in that way was just amazing. And again, it's about building those lasting lifetime relationships and feeling connected. So, wow, um, I have heard a lot about Whipley's culture, and that story is a great testament to what you build when you hire employees but treat them as an individual and help them grow. Can you talk a little bit about how mental health plays into the business resource groups and how important that is from the time you hire someone and have them and retain them through Whipley? Absolutely. So you're right. Mental health is a growing concern. And so at Whiffley, through our onboarding process uh, for new associates as well as for existing associates, we're finding that the BRGs and the connection were also helping um, establish informal mentorship throughout the, the programs. And so, of course, when you join Whiffley as an associate, you're given a formal performance coach that helps you with your career trajectory. But what we're finding from an uh, informal mentorship standpoint, those relationships are helpful in identifying when an associate is struggling. Mm -hmm. We also offer um, some EAP services, a employee assistance program, that when we have an associate struggling, they can get free counseling services um, virtually. We know it's very difficult to find providers in the area that have capacity to take on new patients, and so we are using a national network that allows associates, again, whether it's for themselves, maybe it's an associate that has a child suffering from mental illness, um, or a spouse, um, and so it is open to all associates and their families to use. Um, but again, the BRGs are a great way that they're building relationships to, if they are struggling, maybe it is a personal, maybe it's professionally, maybe they're not feeling included on their team. It's another channel where their voice can be heard. Um, I have often said that, you know, we can't fix a problem that we, that we don't know exists. And so, again, it's really um, elevating some issues and, again, helping those associates where they're at. So, Valerie, you participated in our Eggs and Issues last fall, where we talked a little bit about diversity, equity, inclusion, and how it's important to business. Do you want to share some of the thoughts that you had while you were participating on that panel? Absolutely. And the one thing I hope every business, as we are all looking at this, not only uh, from the business lens, but from the country, is you just have to start. Not any firm has all the answers, um, but I, what I will say is that the formalization of saying we have a DEI initiative as well as the creation of the business resource groups kind of puts um, associates at ease that we're very serious that we do want to create a very inclusive culture at Wifley and everybody's accepted for who they are. I think th I can't imagine actually Kaylin showing up to work and not being my most authentic self and I know that there's associates and individuals that have to do that each and every day. And so again, associate-led, everybody can you know share what they're comfortable with, but we truly want to make sure that from an inclusion and even more importantly, a respect, everybody feels included and respected at Whiffley. So from a workforce perspective, you talked a little bit about how this helps you retain and some onboarding. What do you see from an interview standpoint with some of the new generations that are coming in? Is this a big topic that's being asked about and how does that help you bring people on board? Oh, that's a great question. And does the next gen, they are so dialed in to DEI. I love, I use the example that uh, my oldest daughter is a freshman at Iowa State. And when we were doing the college tours, we, we visited seven um, colleges, private, public, big to small. And every tour, the tour guide, which is always a student, introduced themselves and gave their pronouns right away. And that was pretty exciting. And what that leads me to believe is that the next gen is far more in tune than maybe some of us who are a little bit older and are catching up. I do think that from a, a, attracting employees to Wifley, it's one of their questions. As they are, we are interviewing them, they are interviewing us. Mm -hmm. And we are finding that if we don't have um, these programs, these opportunities for them to explore something that's not just client-centric at Wifley, um, that is what's keeping them are attracting to them to us and keeping them there. Um, so, and you 
talk about the ROI of losing an associate. We all know that you can take that associate salary times three, and that's a replacement cost to replace that associate. So again, retaining our talent is so important, as it is to every company. I'm really trying hard to sit here and not say that like I'm just a huge fan of Whipley <laughs> from personal but also professional reasons because I can't tell you how many times I hear about this booming culture at Whipley. It's less about the job and the stuff and you know the business services that you offer which are all fantastic anyway, but it's the fact that you're person centric. You really follow the person instead of the employee. <laughs> and I, I absolutely love that. I think that's the way of the future for a lot of businesses. And you're one of the ones that we point to when we talk about workforce development and building up your culture in taking that first step, just trying things out and seeing what works and really being an advocate for the individual, which I think is just amazing in the way of the future. So well, thank you. We work really hard. We don't always get it right. I will be honest, but we try, we pivot fast and we correct where we need to so thank you yeah I'm a I'm a firm believer in at least talking about the successes and challenges though too <laughs> I mean I, I'm too. How, how else do you share and collaborate if you mm -hmm. don't have you know give people that opportunity so. absolutely so Valerie why does business matter to Whipley business matters to Whipley because we are a client-centric organization we are here to serve our clients our tagline for 2022 into 2023 is perspective changes everything and that's true for Wifley. As we learn and grow and change, our perspective and the lens that we use helps us on our journey. Um, it's, it's the same with our businesses that we serve. Perspective for them is what are their hot issues? We are here to serve. We have a multitude of services. We're not just the CPA firm from 50 years ago with our pocket protectors. We are truly um, a trusted business advisor, and that's where we want to meet our clients, really from a standpoint of what are their goals and objective, because we know if we're helping them achieve their goals, Wifley wins too. So you've been involved in the Chamber's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Task Force for a few years now. Would you mind talking a little bit about one, why you're involved, and two, some of the things that you've seen that we've maybe accomplished or helped Whipley on as you've been building your business resource groups. I am so impressed with what the Chamber has put forth, and again, under your leadership. We all know that this is a rising topic, and again, every company needs help figuring out how do I best meet my associate where they're at. The relationship, so from my lens, the relationships that you have created through the Chamber, through UWO Claire, CVTC, other organizations that have a diversity and, and equity and inclusion program that's a little farther along, you're bringing those private businesses and their resources to the chamber and thus their investors. I think the more education and just transfer of knowledge that we can create is going to help all businesses in this area thrive. And so businesses like Wifley who have taken on the DEI platform and, and perspective, think about if we did that as an entire community, that we could have a tagline that Eau Claire is a place where everyone is included and respected. That would be pretty powerful. And the chamber is well on its way to giving all businesses opportunities to be involved in this journey. So I think you're doing a great job. Thank you so much, Valerie, for sharing um, all of your wisdom with us today and uh, the perspective of Whipley and all that you do for your associates and employees. I do want to thank our audience for listening in today um, from the Wind Technology Studio. And again, a thank you to our media sponsor, Royal Credit Union. A few quick announcements before we end today. We would love the audience to join us for Chippewa Valley Rally on February 22nd. Registration is up now on our events calendar on the Chamber's website. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube page. That's where you'll find a lot of our media content, and we would love for you to participate and subscribe. You can find us at Eau Claire Area Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. Thank you, Kaylin. <laughs>